<laughs> Jetstream recently scooped the top prize at the Gibraltar International Song Festival with their song, Starlight. Noda and Stu are here to tell us all about it. How are you guys? Very good, thank, thank you. Thank you very much yeah. for joining Congratulations. us. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> tell us how was it? It was a great experience. I mean, we, we weren't expecting anything from it, but um, lo and behold, we, we were lucky enough to win and uh, we, we celebrated well. And <laughs> was it, was it a good party? Yeah, a good <laughs> party afterwards, yeah. So what made you enter this year? Have you, have you thought about entering in years before? I mean, before? no, no, you participated uh, Yeah, before. I participated three years ago. Okay. Lucky enough to win as well. It's all rigged. <laughs> um, but this year, Stuart can tell you the process because he was more involved than I was. Actually, I didn't tell the band that I'd entered the song. Oh, uh, wow, okay. I entered the song. Uh, we always had an awareness of the song festival. Of course, Nolan was in it a few years ago. Um, lots of friends of ours, musicians, have been in it. You know, Giles Ramirez, Tim Garcia. So um, last summer, we recorded a few tracks in a studio in Tarifa, and uh, the tracks came out, I think, really, really well. Um, and we've always had a bit of a kind of unwritten rule in the band that we don't enter Battle of the Bands, we don't enter song competitions. Because, because you're better than that? Or no, it's just, it's just not, we don't really enjoy being competitive, but... Um, so I, that's uh, why you didn't tell the rest of them I didn't tell them, I, I, I <laughs> snuck it in there. And then I got an email to say we'd made the final. So at that point I thought, OK, what do I do now? Now I need yeah, to Now you them. have to tell the band. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I spoke to the band and I said, um, OK, guys, we're in the final, um, do you want to do it? And uh, everyone agreed and... Um, and we went to the show with no expectations, but we thought, well, we'll give it a go, right? You know, if we're lucky enough to win, well, we want to record more tracks, an album, perhaps. Um, and the, the prize would help us do that. Mm. So Remind us of the prize very quickly. So we won £4,000 for the first prize. But we also won Best Interpreter for the best performance of the night. So oh. we got the first interpreter first, and then we thought, all right, this is it. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. going to win now. Um, but then, yeah, lo and behold. That's no, amazing. What exactly is the best winning. interpreter? What does that mean to you? I guess the best... This performance on stage, mm -hmm. not visual, I guess. I don't yeah. know. The song is kind of uh, split into two parts. So it's about uh, it's, it's like a songwriting competition, mm. and the best interpreter is basically the best performance from a singer because it's very common for songwriters to enter their songs mm. and get a singer to sing them for them. Mm. If they can't sing, for example, like myself, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing to save my life. But um, yeah, so you know, for a combination of those two awards, we've got four and a half thousand pounds, which you know is going to go very, very nicely to the next set of jazz, jazz from songs, which we're yeah, working on right now. Definitely, we've got some videos from some good-looking guys um, singing <laughs> Starlight last year <laughs> at GMF. Tell yeah. us about the winning song itself. So that that song. What is, is it about? How did you come about writing it? I mean, I, I, you know, I make no secret about the fact that I, I find songwriting a bit of a struggle. Um, it's a bit of a kind of creative battle in your head and you know there's always so many different options um, and sometimes I kind of keep all to myself and I don't share anything and in the band we have many different songwriters and sometimes we collaborate together sometimes we work individually and I had the, the, the melody in my head for the chorus and it was probably one of the first things that I, I presented to the band and, and Nolan went yeah I like that we need to develop that um, and then over a series of months it kind of grew from there once I so how long does it take from when you sit down and go right this is the melody we want to go with it all depends. It's, each song is a particular case. Right. There are songs that, within a 30-minute uh, time span, you write the whole thing. Really? Yeah, and then there are songs which you sort of leave. And then tweak. Because you, you end up saturated, and you come back with, to it like three months later when you finish off. So it's, each song is a particular case. This one was about six months, I think, wow. before I was you know, in a position to be able to say, <laughs> so, OK. So well, worth it, at least. Yeah. Worth oh, all course, the effort. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you made it into the finals, but what was the other competition like on the night? Well, it, it, it was all very varied. There's a lot of dance tracks, mm -hmm. some uh, slower ballads and all that. It's, it's all very different. And then the competition from Italy with the one from Cuba. Yeah, Sweden, Madrid, Iceland. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so... We felt very much like the outsiders because style-wise, we're very, very different to yeah. sort of song competition entries usually. So we thought we've got an outside chance, but it's not going to happen. And everyone else was a soloist. Okay. We were like the full band. Wow. Um, we were different, yeah. But yeah, I think when we performed and then we got the reaction from the home crowd, which I think was always going to be good, um, we felt a bit more confident. And then obviously after a few drinks, we felt a bit more confident. <laughs> and then when they called our name, uh, if you see the footage, I mean, we really, no shame. We were on stage and we really enjoyed it. <laughs> good night. So I'm right in saying it wasn't only your double winging, winning night last week that you're celebrating. You've mm -hmm. just yeah. been announced as part of... Yeah. And MTV for, presents Gibraltar yeah, Calling. Gibraltar Calling. So how are you excited for that? Absolutely, it's, it's a great platform to showcase our, our tracks and, and obviously share the stage with some of these amazing, amazing artists that have been um, announced already, plus 
the local acts as well that have been announced. I believe it's six bands that have been announced There's so far. There's quite a few that have been announced today, and I think that's what people have been waiting for as well. Yeah, people yeah, weren't yeah. sure, compared to the GMF, how much um, you know attention the, the local acts would get. But I think most people are probably quite happy with... Yeah, most you obviously get some people who you can never please, but generally people are happy to have local bands involved. Because it's, it's in Gibraltar, so why not get us all involved? Yeah, of course. We're Gibraltar. happy to be involved because the, the, the name MTV is something that you know, I grew up with and we all grew oh, up with. Oh, yeah, of know, course. To be associated with that is fantastic. It must be great to be able to say I've, I've been on uh, MTV, MTV yeah. Gibraltar Cooler. The, <laughs> yeah. the, yeah. the first ever one, by the way. The first ever one. Setting the bar high. So, yeah. what can people expect from your set on the day? Have you even thought about that yet? Or not yet. Or? I mean, we're not even sure what stage we're performing mm -hmm. in, what day we're performing in, but we'll perform the, the better known songs, mm -hmm. the ones that are. Uh, Radio Gibraltar put on yeah. for us. Uh, and we, we definitely want to put uh, a few good new ones in there. It's always important to showcase new material, I think. So you mentioned that you may be doing another album. What, what is next for Jetstream? Well, I mean, actually, recently we've been playing a lot in Spain. We were in Malaga last weekend, uh, and we've got some other gigs lined up, um, hopefully all over Spain. So we're doing that at the same time as working on new original material, and uh, we hope to go to the studio pretty soon. We're kind of finessing uh, a handful of tracks and we're writing some more at the same time. So hopefully by the time that, that the uh, MTV Festival comes along, we'll have a whole host of new material to choose okay. from. Okay. And yeah, around that time, if we can get a chance to release an EP or at least some MP3s and a music video, because we like doing that, mm -hmm. um, then we'll definitely do that. And from then we'll go on. Um, look, we've had uh, you know, a, a lot of euphoria and interest around, around the Song Festival. Mm. So it's been a great platform for us to, to go on for. Now MTV adds to that. Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. Exciting time. Exciting yes. time. Mm. Absolutely. Well, congratulations Sorry. again. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. We have to move on. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Stick around. You might win some fudge. Stick around. Okay. Because you, you've had a good week. I know. I'll give you that. <laughs> like you've had don't, a good week. You, yeah. But nothing but you've like not, some fudge. You've not topped <laughs> off a lot of these. It's going to be too much okay. excitement <laughs> for you to handle.